So, oversight systems. Just about four weeks ago, we were named by Forbes as one of America's most promising companies. So, two questions you probably ought to be asking is, how can somebody that sells something called continuous auditing software make this list? And two, if you looked at all these companies, generally speaking, they're all fairly small, and we were the largest company out there. So, how can somebody that big still become most promising? And I hope I can answer both of those for you. We were founded here in Atlanta uh, six years ago uh, at uh, one of the predecessor events. We actually pitched our um, angel round, so uh, thanks to everyone who pitched in for that. Our business is continuous monitoring and auditing. What, what does that mean? Well, basically, you know in real life no business process works perfectly. Things go wrong. People cheat on expense reports. They pay bills twice. You ship the wrong thing to a customer. So things go wrong. The sooner you can find those things and fix those problems, the better. And that essentially is what our software does. We identify errors, misuse, and fraud. We help you find it on a continuous basis. Most importantly, we help you fix it. We also then accumulate data about where the problems are happening so that you can use that to drive ongoing process improvement. We have a lot of famous customers, as you can see here, people ranging from Pfizer to American Electric Power to Shaw Industries, McDonald's, Coca-Cola. What they all have in common is we've driven a hard dollar ROI for them in a matter of months. So we are literally paying for ourselves. You've got more cash you know, within six, seven months of when you bought our software. Um, the other characteristic about all these folks is they are all leaders. And we are beginning now to have the, um, having people call us up and say, yeah, I talked to so-and-so at Yahoo. They told me you have a great solution. So, the uh, people in finance are all starting to fall in line and uh, adopt this technology. I'll add one more thing. That logo on the upper right is for the Department of Defense. As taxpayers, you should all appreciate that since last November, we have prevented over $600 million in improper payments by the Department of Defense. So the administration is still looking to figure out how to save $100 million in the executive branch. They just need to buy more oversight. Um, from a trending standpoint, we did about a million. F our fiscal year ends July 31st, I should add. We did about a million in 07, 5 million in 08, 10 million in 09, and projecting to go over 20 in FY10. We've already got 6 million of that in the bag as renewals. We'll sell about another 6 to our installed base and about 10 to new clients. Um, as I tell people, this gets a lot more fun the further you get from zero. So we're having a great time. Um, our revenue breakdown is about 60% recurring, which is uh, largely subscription with some maintenance. We do do some perpetual software deals for uh, companies that want to do business that way, and about a third of our business is professional services. Um, we have an experienced management team. I haven't added up the years, but it's a pretty big number. Two things. We know where we're going. So we've had people that have worked at Oracle, EDS, Symantec, so companies, big software companies, successful companies. And two, we know how to get there. Um, we have a, a number of us were a part of the uh, team at Internet Security Systems. We have people that worked at Netscape. So we know how to grow small companies into large ones. Two, er two areas that we will look to raise money for um, to expand in 2010, and that is to look at our international footprint and two, to look at vertical market expansions. Internationally, there is nothing U.S.-centric about what we do. You could repeal Sarbanes-Oxley next week, and all of our clients would renew because we're driving operational benefits. And if you look in the headlines, you see the Saudi arm crisis in India. There's uh, financial fraud that, that happens in Europe. It happens in Asia. There's nothing U.S.-centric about what we do. We actually just got through training 15, um, 15 people at a big four audit firm in Singapore just last week who are going to go out and start using our technology. So to really go after these markets, we will have to obviously have a bigger footprint, and that will be one uh, use of funds in 2010. Um, and then vertically, the $600 million I saved for the DOD, or we've saved for the DOD, um, th their error rate is only 0.2%. The GAO will tell you that the Medicare, Medicaid, payment error rate is 10 to 12 percent. I mean, it's almost 100 times larger. So there's obviously a great opportunity to go after. And that same thing, uh, commercial insurance people will tell you the same thing, you know, quietly, that their error rates are in the double-digit percentages. 
We believe it will take, um, obviously, some vertical market expertise, and that'll be another use of funds is to go to expand into vertical markets with medical being the lead candidate today. So key points. We have a solution that provides a hard dollar ROI. It makes sense in every economy. It certainly worked for us in this one. We have an experienced team in place, and we're ramping up sales to marquee clients and are beginning to see, again, the effect of uh, the thought leaders telling other people uh, that they know about our solution. We did 10 million in bookings in 09, which was a 008. We, ex we are on track to do that for FY10. And you know, we keep doubling every year, we will get there. Um, and we have a lot of great expansion opportunities in international and vertical markets, and we will begin raising funds for that in, uh, in calendar year 2010. Thank you very much.